Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. Now in this particular video, I really just want to inspire your creativity. Um, you know, through our amazing community at Enterprise DNA and especially with some of our experts in the, um, in the community, we're just seeing some of the highest quality Power BI reports and development happening hands down. And it's, I'm sort of taking it upon my, myself to sort of showcase to you how you can get inspired by looking through these reports and uh, working out and, and sort of like just working out how they're done and trying to implement it yourself, trying to implement certain aspects of uh, these reports. Now, this particular report is by uh, Alex, one of our enterprise DNA experts and was from one of our recent Power BI challenges. And there's just so many amazing features baked into this particular report. I wanted to go into them and then maybe give you a little bit of insight around how some of these were created because they're very doable. I mean, this is very creative. I mean, this is like a piece of art, um, in, my, in my view, a piece of analytical art. But um, a lot of these are, you know, it's, it's very doable. It's just about just getting creative, just, um, you know, trying to get your creative juices flowing whilst you're trying to tell a story about your data. So this particular information, this particular data set was around COVID, COVID-19. And um, there was um, some, it was publicly publicly available data. And so, you know, there's been, a, there was a range of different um, submissions and you can definitely check those all out at the Enterprise DNA Forum. So we have a, um, a section within our forum, which is all about the challenges. So definitely check that out. Um, so you can sort of see where we've got a, a, a different challenge on at the moment, but this was a historic one, and you can even look through exactly how how, how Alex did this and how others did it. But basically what we're trying to do is within the, here, we're trying to evaluate how individual countries are going, right? And so within this report, we are looking at um, individual countries versus the entirety of um, the data universe. So here we're looking at um, United Kingdom versus all the other countries. And so you can see here that we've represented, you know, you, you can you can create stories quite simply, right, by adding filters and adding slices. But if you just get a little bit more creative, you can make the navigation experience that much more superior. And that's what Alex in this particular case has done, right? There's so many ways to, to slice and dice the data and information here and be able to view it in so many compelling ways. But you'll be amazed that most of this is actually from one page. One report page in a Power BI has all of these different looks and feels and, and insights that you can generate so quickly and easily. So, okay, so we're currently looking at the United Kingdom here. But say I want to look at a different country, like let's select Australia and see what happens there. Right? So now I can visually see that I'm on Australia and then I can also see, okay, vaccinations of total population. So you see that they're very low. They hadn't even started at this point in time, new cases in the last period. So it doesn't, they haven't got many cases and death ratio in the last period. So actually it's not very, not a very good example. Let's, let's try to find one that um, is going to, let's have a look at Brazil. Okay. I mean, this, this is so superior to even like the ones, the reports you'd find on CNN. It's crazy. Um, so you can see here, we can identify Brazil down here. And the, the tooltip here is amazing as well. Look how detailed this tooltip is, um, just if you, just when you hover over it, and it's so dynamic. So just the, the navigation of these sort of insights is amazing, right? And we sort of see some text. Brazil has 12 million confirmed cases, 300,000 have died so far, um, which is, wow, it's, it's amazingly high, isn't it? and 6% of the, the population has reached their vaccine. So that's basically drilling down into all of all of this all of this data, right? But then we can actually look at every other country and sort of see, okay, well, who's actually doing well? Monaco, well, that's no surprise. And, you know, United Kingdom, they're doing very well in the vaccinations by the looks of it when this data was coming out, which is great. Okay. But visually, it's appealing. And the, one of the other navigation experiences I love here is just, you see that these, these, the, these sort of the ellipsis, right, or this, these three lines, that always signifies like an application development. When you click on that, something pops up. And so I love this. Instead of having these available to you on the report page, having it pop up within a box that you can then X out, like seamlessly like this, is to me a superior experience right it's like a navigation bar and i really like that because it's not taking up any real estate in your report page it's just this little area that you can click in and out 
And so we can we can actually drill into these things um, further, right? We can choose a continent. So this is some other analysis that has been brought in. So maybe we want to um, we want to analyze South America here, right? And so we can put all these additional filters on very easily here, um, like so. And that's going to change up our visualizations. And then I can easily X out. One of the other great features I love in here is just the ease of this unfiltering. So we can we can get back to the the, the initial state um, very very quickly just by clicking this this button, remove filters, right? And this was this was purposely placed there just for ease of use, ease of navigation. But just the fact that I can click in that and then drill into this even further, but then still get all of this amazing insight is you know we can compare, we can do different comparisons, we can find different insights. We're not looking at um, you know, we're comparing maybe more like for like, and I think that is a, um, you know, that's a, a, a really neat way of setting this out. And also the fact that that uh, in this particular case, Alex hasn't used the standard um, axes that are available. He's done some customization by having some, um, uh, you know, having this bar down the side here, and, you know, and just it just takes up less real estate. Everything he's done here has been positioned in a way that can make. Um, everything fit in well together it can tell a good story and it looks really compelling okay so I can come in here and um, I can go unfilter just like that and that's going to take me back to to the existing state right and everything else is going to be like that now the other thing that is really neat as well is you know you've got a filter up here uh, and then you can click on these these other filters down the side so as use the real estate on the right hand side here you can click on it and it opens up a new box which is showing something else and you see here that we're not going to a different page here we're literally on the same page it's just sort of bringing a new and interesting insight out okay now what i think and i can easily you know easily get back to stage one where i can just push the home button here so everything is accounted for from a navigation experience i mean it's just it is just amazing i am so impressed by this particular report so we can just quickly dive into it this look, maybe we want to look at Canada. I love the um, the way that this this sort of just shows us um, geographically. And again, tool tips on these as well. So you can dive into, you know, you can dive into insights about countries up here too. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at the model just to round things off. Now, it's not working perfectly on my machine for some reason at the moment. But what I want to show you is, is generally the way that, Ella, that this has been done, okay? And it's been done with bookmarks, okay? So you, in your report page, all you need to do um, in, your, in the Power BI desktop is come to view and you'll see, you'll see all of these things are laid out via bookmarks, right? So it's all in one page. This is literally all in one page. The tool tips, the tool tips are in different pages. They are in different pages, yes, and they're, they're quite easy to set up. But in terms of the like navigation, it's all on this one page using bookmarks. And so if I click through the bookmarks, you'll see, okay, this is the main page, right? But then um, you'll see that this menu only shows up when we are on the main page menu, right? And then we have another bookmark which works with all the filters. So this is um, this is main page menu remove filters, and then we have you know, and this is what you can do as well. Is if you if you just think creatively, you don't need to create multiple pages for everything. If you want to create a navigation experience all on the one page, seamless experience, you know, you can do that really simple, simply and effectively using these bookmark features, right? Remember, you can always set a bookmark taking you back to stage one, and that's what um, that is what has been done with this main page here, right? And so you can click on. So some of these just aren't working for some reason, um, probably because there's you know it's quite it's quite intensive memory-wise to get this going, but it works online. So that's that's you know that's all that really matters in this case. And so I can come back to the main page and you know get get myself set back to you know a level that um, that I want to uh, look at or all with um all with uh, bookmarks so not too difficult right this is so achievable so doable the other the other interesting thing is obviously the 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 tool tips and you know i've gone on i've gone into tool tips and in, in, in a number of other videos i think they're an amazing evolution of power bi and just ways that you can represent data in so many new and different ways and so alex has basically done that with these tool tips here um and so you'll see here that it doesn't actually show up because you need to actually be selected on one sort of thing for this to show correctly. But basically, you know, it's a similar sort of tooltip um, and it feeds, these tooltips feed into these particular tables here very, very easily. Like you, you, you click on a visualization and then within the visualization, you can add the tooltip, right? 
so you just come to that visualization and then if we scroll down you'll see that the tooltip here is on and that tooltip will now the relevant tooltip will show in that particular um, in that particular part of the report so if I just come back to the online version here it's it works a lot better here so I can then you know and what's being done is these tooltips have been added to um, all of these visualizations right and they come up quite seamlessly and so can, you can imagine how if data is updating in the background how compelling this would be on a daily basis right I mean if you were someone evaluating um, changes over time or, or you wanted to see how things were evolving around the world around the um, pandemic I mean this is a an a, a amazing it is so compelling so compelling what has been done here I mean I would be so happy to look at this every day if this was like truly relevant to my role and the fact that you know you could you know just think about how this relates to your own data internally right if you can create a few reports like this uh, on your own internal data and then you know you can you can discover this information in Microsoft Teams now like it's literally one click away to this immersion of information and you know seamless um uh, like evaluation of, of, of data and um, distribution of data. I mean, it's, it's, it is quite amazing, really. Okay, so look, that's all I wanted to showcase today. And, you know, I, hopefully we got the creative um, creativity going and you sort of, you have also sort of seen that, like, it's actually very doable. This is nothing, you know, all it is is a bit of creativity. And, and certainly what I'm learning um, over time um, through the Analytic Mind podcast and discussions with lots of other data leaders out there is that creativity is as big a part of being an analyst and being a valuable analyst as just just knowing how to wrangle data etc and, and transform data you know you, if you can think creatively and and produce reports and applications that look compelling that's how you're going to really drive up the engagement um, within within your teams and within your organizations okay that's all uh let's wrap things up thanks for tuning in talk to you next time hey everyone thanks for tuning in to enterprise dna tv if you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.